Hi, this is Dr. Raj Banerjee, and in this video, we're going to talk about the major pathways of steroid synthesis. Now, so we're going to go into some diagrams here, so pay attention. So in this diagram, the pathways of all these different hormones. So as you see, it starts with cholesterol, which is obviously coming from the foods that we eat. So you do need to eat some, you do need some cholesterol in your diet, okay? Uh, your body then takes a vitamin B5 and converts that into uh, cholesterol, and, and converts that in cholesterol into another hormone called pregnenolone. And pregnenolone is then converted into progesterone and uh, cortisol in this pathway. Um, pregnenolone is then also converted into DHEA and to a different kind of estrogen in this pathway, all right? So just follow with this diagram here. Estrogen is the name of a class of hormones. There are actually three types of estrogens. Esterone, which is E1, and you can see that uh, one right there. Estradiol, diol means two, so E2. And estradiol, which is tri, which is three, so E3. So you have esterone and estradiol and est estradiol. So there's three different types of estrogen produced in the body, okay? Generally, these hormones uh, are as a group referred to as estrogen. Uh, so there's no single hormone attributed to estrogen. It's all these uh, combined. And each three of this estrogen can convert into, into the other and they have a specific role. So estradiol tends to be the most critical. So in this next slide here, I'm gonna talk about the pregnenolone steel. So the key part of everyone forgetting is that when you are under chronic stress, you, you can see that what would happen over here. Uh, pregnenolone is diverted down towards cortisol because cortisol is the main stress hormone. So under stress, you have it's this huge amount of uh, cortisol production. Cortisol levels will spike way, way up, and you can see over here how there's less avail available progesterone for the DHEA and estrogen and testosterone production. And so this pathway that is referred to as pregnenolone steel is because the pregnenolone is stolen or diverted away to cortisol produ production when, you when you're under chronic stress, okay? So every time that you make a molecule of cortisol, which is one of the major stress hormones, it has a direct impact on your estrogen and progesterone levels. So I hope you get this right there in this diagram. And this is another way of saying that the daily rhythm of cortisol production influences the monthly cycle. And so if you run this stress long enough and your cortisol level goes up and up and up and up, it starts to affect the progesterone. And what happens typically is that progesterone drops. And you get this imbalance between estrogen and progesterone, and then all these different symptoms will start to occur. So as the cortisol level goes up, your progesterone level uh, will start to go down, and eventually even your estrogen level will start to drop. And that's, the, that's, that's you know, when you have high levels of cortisol. So anything that brings your cortisol level up is going to trigger this female hormone imbalance. All right, so I hope this made sense to you. So this is the end of this video, and I just wanna leave you with one quick point. And if you get this, you can free yourself from chronic fatigue and pain and depression and overweight. The female hormones do not all of a sudden malfunction by themselves. They are responding to stress as a stress hormone called cortisol. Every molecule of cortisol that you produce comes from progesterone. When under stress, guess what happens? Your cortisol goes up and your progesterone drops. So what you need to do is you need to figure out what your cortisol level is and fix it. And throughout these videos, I'm gonna show you the whole physiology of the female hormones and what you can do to actually get the results that you're looking for so you don't have these crazy symptoms. They'll help you eliminate depression, fatigue, night sweats, hot flashes, mood swings, all that stuff we just talked about. And it'll improve your metabolism so you're able to actually start to lose weight again. This is Dr. Raj Banerjee. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one. Please make sure you like my video and also subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make these kind of videos for you. Your support is appreciated. Leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of other videos you'd like to see so I can make them for you. Thank you so much and please visit my site getleantoday.com.